guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kelly and I blog at Kelly Lee Creates where I teach lettering and digital design. So today I have a fun tutorial for you. I'm gonna show you how to create a seamless repeat pattern in Procreate. So what you see here is a repeat pattern. And what that means is that this square can be repeated over and over again, horizontally and vertically, and the design will never break. So if you take a look at this side, like this side lines up with this side, and then the bottom lines up with the top. So we can stack these squares horizontally and vertically um, infinitely and the design will be seamless and it won't break. Repeating patterns are used mostly for surface design. So if you've ever been to the website Spoonflower and seen all the fabric, um, this, this is what you would upload to a site like Spoonflower to get your design uh, printed onto fabric. You can also upload your designs to sites like Society6 um, and get them printed on things like phone cases and baby blankets and beach towels. Basically any item that you want a repeating design on, uh, you need to create a seamless pattern. So today I'm going to show you how to create this rainbow pattern. So let's get started. So to make this easy and save time, I already have created the basic pattern here. And it just consists of rainbows and hearts. And I have the color palette right here, and I will leave a link to that below. This is free. You can grab this if you want to use the colors that I used, or you can use whatever color you want. So basically in the layers panel, you can see that I put every uh, rainbow on a separate layer. And then I put the yellow and uh, pink hearts on a separate layer. The blue hearts are on their own layer, and these outlined hearts are on their own layer as well. And I also created a layer with the light yellow background color. So to create the hearts, I used my uh, heart brushes from my Valentine Stamps brush set. And I will leave a link to that if you'd like to pick that up. If you don't want to use my Valentine stamps, I suggest using a monoline brush to draw your hearts. And then to draw these hearts right here, you can use either my stamp set or I have a outline brush, a free outline brush that I will leave a link to. Uh, so if you wanted to freehand these, oops, freehand these, you can also use my outline brush. So for the rainbow, I used my, um, my triple line brush here. But if you don't have a triple line brush, uh, you can just use a monoline brush to draw out your rainbows and then um, a dotted brush if you would like for these couple rainbows here. So once you get your design all laid out, just make sure that you don't have anything overlapping the sides. You want everything contained on your canvas. And also your canvas has to be square. If it's not square, this will not work. Okay, so once you have your design, you're gonna turn it off. All the light, actually, I'm sorry. First, you're going to group all the layers together. So just tap on the top layer and then swipe all the other layers and hit group. And then you're going to make a duplicate of this group right here, just so you can have a layered file if you need to go back to it. So then just turn off this bottom layer and this top group right here, 
we're just going to merge all these layers together to flatten this. So just take two fingers and merge them all together. So now you have one layer with everything on it. Okay, now turn that off and now we're going to use our grid. So if you go over here to the wrench, canvas, turn on the drawing guide and edit drawing guide down here with the grid size, you want to turn it all the way up to 100%. So you just have one, uh, two lines with a dot in the middle and then hit done. So now we have to break this up into the squares. So what we're going to do is create a new layer and then just choose any color that you want and drop it in. And then come over here to the selection tool and make sure that snapping is on. And then you're just going to drag this corner up until it snaps to the center. And then you're gonna do that again for each one of these three squares, but you're gonna do them with a different color. So just choose any color you want and on a different layer. So add a new layer, drag and drop the color, select, bring it up. And one more time. Okay, now that you have all four boxes, now we have to turn these into selections. So to do that, you're gonna come down to this first layer that you did, tap select, and when you do that, you can see that there's hatched lines on everything except the box that you selected. You're gonna come down to this menu down here and hit save and load and hit this plus sign. And it'll say selection one. Then we're gonna do this with all the other boxes. So come up to the yellow layer, tap it, hit select, save and load, plus sign. Select, save and load, plus sign. And then your final layer, select, save and load, plus sign. Okay, now that you have all your selections, you don't need these colored boxes anymore. So you can go ahead and delete these. Next, you're going to turn back on your flattened layer that has your entire design on it. You're going to tap select and then come down here to the save and load again. Hit selection one. Come over here to the wrench icon. Hit cut and paste. And then if you look at your layers, you can see that this square of your design was cut and pasted onto this section right here. So what we're doing is we're breaking up the design into four different sections. So again, go back to your original image, select, save and load, selection two, cut and paste. And again, select, Save and load, selection three, cut, paste. And then you have, you don't have to do it for your last, for the last one because it's already in the right spot. So now you have your design broken up into 
four different sections. So the way a repeating pattern works and to make the repeating, make the pattern repeat, we have to move these two uh, sections this way, these two this way, the top two to the bottom, and the bottom two to the top. So to do that, we're going to select, actually, I'm gonna rename these first. I'm gonna rename them one, two, three, and four, starting from the top going down, so we don't get confused here. So to rename a, a layer, just tap on it, hit rename, and this little keyboard icon will pop up, and you can rename it whatever you want. Like I said, I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four to keep it um, easy. Okay, so what we wanna do, we wanna take one and three, so select one and swipe uh, right to also select three. Then come up here to the arrow tool, the selection tool, and you can see that it will grab selection one and three. So again, make sure down here snapping is uh, turned on and uniform is turned on as well. And then all you're gonna do is drag these until it snaps like that. And then select two and four, and then drag those this way. Now you're gonna select one and two and drag these top two to the bottom. And then you're gonna select three and four and drag those two to the top. Now you can see here with our pattern that we have, it's a little bit um, like empty in, in the middle. There aren't any rainbows right in here. So that might look a little bit uh, off or awkward uh, when we go to make the pattern, place the pattern on a big surface. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna erase some of these hearts and I'm gonna, just gonna draw a rainbow in here just to make it a little bit more even. So to do that, I need to, I need to add a new layer and fill it with my background layer, my background color. And you can't tell anything happened right here, but now I can erase some of these hearts and the background layer will still show through. So what I'm gonna do first though, is I am going to merge all these together and then I'm going to erase some of these hearts in the middle right here. And I'm going to add in a rainbow. Okay, so to add another rainbow in here, I am just going to copy and paste this rainbow right here. So I'm just going to select it. Down here, copy and paste. And then move it into position and shrink it just a little bit. So it's not the same size as the other ones. So it's kind of unique. Now we want to merge all of these together. This one that I copied and pasted, the other rainbows and the additional background layer color. So pinch, and so now all of that is on one layer. 
Now it's time for the final step where we get to see what this square looks like when it's actually repeated over a big area. So to do that, we're just going to duplicate this layer right here. So swipe left and hit duplicate. And turn off the top one for a minute and come to the bottom one and just drag, make sure snapping is on and just drag this corner up till it snaps. And then duplicate again, come to the bottom one, turn that on and drag this corner up till it snaps. Duplicate again, come to the bottom one, turn it on, and drag it down this way till it snaps. And then finally, the top one, and drag this corner all the way down till it snaps in place. And then if you go and you turn off your grid under canvas, just turn off the drawing guide. Now you can see our fun repeating pattern. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more tutorials, you can follow me at kellyleecreates.com and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.